Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to talk about what not to be cheap on. So if you wanna know those things, then keep on watching. starting from a random place in my head these are not in order so do not think that one is more important than the other I just really want it to be a free open forum so we can just talk about it in a nice you know laid-back you know environment and not be too uptight about these things and it can be a different version for you I'm not saying this is the number one go-to list this is just something that I've thought about and kind of accumulated over the years in my personal life and I wanted to definitely give you guys the same information so hopefully it can benefit you guys in the long run so let's start number one number one is self-care books or in other words self-help books I love these type of books they get me in a very positive mindset especially if you think you're going through a rut and you're you feel like a little bit of a being stagnant these self-care books are books that are going to get you mentally elevated and into the right headspace to conquer whatever goals that you have in mind or whatever thing whatever that's blocking your way to conquer it move past it and you know elevate from there so i definitely think reading is good for you mentally and is good for you physically it's good it's a good exercise for the brain people don't i think people take reading for granted is something that it's so liberating to look at a book and be like i finished this book and i can tell you from the beginning to the end of what i've learned with self-care books uh you know obviously it's 2024 so we have podcasts we even have ebooks you know i know some people don't like to hold actual paper books and there's books that are online or on your phone and you could just hear the author you know read out loud to you so there's different ways to read i'm not saying there's just a one go-to way but i want to reiterate and make this imperative that you please read and whatever well, however you read or whenever you read just read you know a one hour a day is something that can be a very very big impact on your reading history in the future this is something that i personally love and i think that is something that i will always love to do i've been doing this before you know college before you know basketball is i love to get my nails done it's one or maybe two hours of just straight solitude your airpods in or your headphones in and you're just getting your nails done you feel pretty at the end of it you feel cleaner you feel more girlier you feel like bossy and just in a better mood i don't know what it is about getting your nails done but it's just something about a fresh set of nails that make you feel so good about yourself and some people might not be up for going to the nail salon every three weeks and I try to do every three weeks every three and a half because I you know the UV lighting in the nail salons I just want to you know just take it easy on my skin so I understand that going to the nail salon nail salon might not be everybody's forte however even if you wanted to get your nails done at home and make your own little nail salon area with your nail gel kit and do your nails at home that that's fine too but just making sure you feel good about yourself is something that i feel we should always be on top of you know and also I get it, you know, there is hard times lately and I understand that not everybody has the privilege to go to the nail salon and spend $60 on nails. So I understand that. So I definitely think prioritizing what you want to do. Do you want to buy a new pair of shoes or do you want to get your nails done? You know, I just make sure that you, you want to take the time out whether it's getting your hair done or getting your nails done to make sure you feel good about yourself and make sure you take care of yourself on the outside too it's always on the outside and inside i definitely think one is not over the other i think it's a very very perfect balance that you need to have and if you have something that's over the other things start to get a little crazy 
obviously with great nails I think obviously we have to talk about is skincare definitely invest in your skincare I've talked about this numerous times on my channel invest in your skincare I love having to find a product that I know works well with my skin knowing that I have a skin condition is yeah it could be medically great and it could be a little bit more expensive or very expensive compared to you know a generic name brand but I know that that like specific product is going to really really work well on my skin and that's just price priceless I feel like you know when you see a lot of people that have problematic skin or hormonal acne and you know they're just so they feel like really down about themselves and they don't have the best confidence I really feel like we take for granted that having good skin clear skin something that you can monetize is a blessing it's something that is a privilege because there's millions of people out here that don't know what's wrong with their skin and don't have the funds or the privilege or the resources to figure out what's wrong with their skin to combat that issue so I definitely say that do not go cheap with your skincare I feel like going cheap with your skincare sometimes is not always the best you know it just kind of like puts a little band-aid on the issue and it doesn't really go in as far as like really really figuring out like what should be wrong with your skin I definitely have said this in my previous videos to always find the time to find a dermatologist I have a dermatologist that I love very very dearly and they are the best and I want people to understand that if you can buy shoes or get your hair done get that nice car you should be able to find a dermatologist that you work well with and that works well with your skin and stick by that person stick by that professional having a dermatologist is like it's such an asset to having great skincare so I want to make this a prime note please find a dermatologist I am a sucker for great perfumes I have a beautiful shelf of perfumes that I have collected over the years and probably gonna collect more in the near future but I love smelling good I love perfumes that last long I like a grown woman scent I like a very earthy tone scent I'm not really into like a lot of floral scents nothing too harsh nothing too that's overbearing something that's very subtle I love great perfume and I feel like when you meet somebody and you hug that person or you even greet that person and you're within like close distance from that person and they compliment you about like oh my gosh you smell so good like what what is this like where is the perfume from I like compliments like that I think that makes my day and I don't know about you guys but when people tell me that I smell nice it makes me feel good <laughs> it makes me feel good so I want to let you guys know that like forget the bath and body works forget Victoria's Secret invest in good perfume and you don't need to buy five ten perfumes per year you can just buy two that will last you guys two years two or let's just say you just want one and just that one is gonna be your signature scent I'm telling you it's just prioritizing what matters and you don't have to go overboard but just prioritizing little things and it makes a really really big impact so I definitely say invest in great perfumes do your research watch those YouTube videos go on TikTok go on Instagram and see what's trending see what type of you know undertones or overtones you like in perfumes and what are the key notes you know I think really researching on what type of perfume tone and scent you want will set the tone for you as far as being your signature scent so definitely say invest in great perfume I'm an advocate about this and it is health annual checkups I am an advocate to go get checked out once a year doesn't hurt it can change your life it can it could definitely 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 change your life I want people to understand that we are not getting older we are the new age adults and we need to make sure that our health is in check 
and that means also you know great diet you know obviously I am not the one I am not the best person or the spokesperson to tell you what to eat and what not to eat I am NOT a dietitian however I do believe in moderation I do believe in understanding that if you're craving a burger on a weekend go get that burger you know and if you want to while out on the weekend and then eat a salad on Monday you do that I'm not the type of person to judge because I love me some good food and I can eat so I definitely understand that but I want people to understand that we have to always eat in moderation and we have to always check up on ourselves and that means as women to go into the OBGYN just making sure that we are all good to go and once a year it's not gonna hurt you to go and check up and go to your you know physician and get your annual checkup it's not gonna hurt please get checked out this is these are the pillars on things to not be cheap on you can't be cheap on your health health is priceless health is wealth you know that saying health is wealth here we here we are talking about it health is wealth and I want people to understand that having good health is such a privilege and we should never 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 take advantage of that okay this one is gonna be a little bit spicy handbags and shoes three years ago maybe even four years ago I was just stacking up my designer handbags I was going crazy and I look back and I'm like well that was a lot of money that I spent over two years but these are bags that I'm still using in 2024 so I definitely think that handbags and shoes should be a very very diligent purchase you shouldn't just go overboard because you see this shoe or handbag on TikTok, Instagram and YouTube no you want to make sure that you do your research about the material that the materials that are made out of the bag or look about the price ranges and see if there's any sales or any type of like you know sale drops with the item that you want and you want to think to yourself what can I really wear with this and how many outfits can I use out of this or how many years I mean how many days out of the year you're gonna wear this item you really want to do your calculations because once you make that purchase it's yours it is yours it's coming to your house or you're gonna pick it up and it's yours so you want to make sure that you be careful of why you want that bag and know that it's an investment but like buying designer handbags is an investment and no matter how you come about it it's yours and you want to make sure you take care of that product correctly and you try and find use out of it you know you don't want to buy an item and have it just collect dust over the years I mean I don't think I would ever want that no matter how rich I become I wouldn't want something that I just bought and spend my hard-earned money and it just collect dust I don't want that so yeah let's just make sure that you do your research and don't buy something because it's trendy I think that's just a number one mistake a lot of people buy things because it's trendy and it looks good now in 2024 but in 2026, is that something that you're still gonna be able to wear? And the last one, I'm gonna pair them together, is convenience and freedom. We, man, like, I remember when I just graduated college, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, what am I gonna do with my career? And like, how I'm gonna be able to pay for this? And how I'm gonna be able to travel and this and that? And I used to be envious of people after I just graduated just going on trips and getting these big jobs and I was like oh my gosh like why not me and I realized that God really places people in their own time in their in their own little race in their own pace and you cannot look at somebody else and think woe is me but look at that person as a sense of inspiration look at that person as a sense of motivation and that's what kept me going after my journey of finding myself to, to understand that my freedom, my convenience to do whatever I want to do will come in due time. I just have to do the work. I just have to put in the effort and the time and it will all come. So I want to tell people that freedom comes with a price, <laughs> it comes with a lot of sacrifice and it comes from understanding that you might have to miss certain events you might have to miss trips you might have to miss events 
for what you truly want. But it all will be priceless and it'll be worth it in the end. So I want people to understand that convenience and freedom goes hand in hand and it is something that will take money and time and energy to get to where you wanna go. So I wanted to just reiterate that. I think people look at other people online and think, oh my gosh, they have it so good, but they don't understand the energy and, and time and sleepless nights that people go through to get to where they are so they can post that big post of you know their big event that they've accomplished on Instagram, but they don't know the time behind it. They don't know the crying and the, and the doubt the doubt talks they don't know about that so I just wanted to just reiterate that that social media is not a real place and these people are real people with real feelings and people are just in her own they're going through their own personal battle battles they're going through their own personal battles and you have to make sure that you focus on you and get through what you need to get through to get to the other side so that is it loves this is my list of things to not be cheap on i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any other topics or things that you want to add to this list put them in the comments below to hear what you guys wouldn't be cheap on so don't forget to like share subscribe and i'll see you lovies later bye